Nice to see you. Oh, we brought back a table, napkins, Grandma. Oh, thanks. Put them in that drawer, Leslie. Certainly, Grandma. What, with these grey ones? Grey? Young man, I... Well, they do seem whiter. How do you do it? Fairy snow, Grandma. Fairy snow. Is it any good? I'll say it is. Yes, Grandma. Did I ask you, Leslie? No, Grandma. We girls don't need your help. <coughs> Nevertheless, Grandma did try fairy snow in her rolls rapide. She couldn't help noticing its rich lava. This powerful lava penetrates every fiber of the wash, forces gray out, forces white in. Next time we popped round. Your napkins are really white now, Grandma. Of course. I use fairy snow in my rolls. You should try it yourself. <coughs> Grandma, we but Grandma, Don't argue with me, Leslie. <sighs> try fairy snow. Rolls recommend fairy snow because fairy snow forces grey out, forces... Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hooverlux. Welcome, bienvenido, croissui, salam alaikum. Welcome to the channel, y'all. Chesh, yakshimash, ni hao. How are you all today? We are off on another road trip. This is a road trip with a difference. So this is gonna come under the Thursday videos of Retro Tech, uh, but it's also related to washing machines. So let's get the background story first of all. So as you know, I had to replace my washing machine. Initially, I was looking for spare parts for it. So on eBay, I saved some searches for washing machine parts, this, that, and the other. And I keep getting these flash ups now of uh, recommendations from you for searches that you saved. So the other night, it must have been late at night, again, when I do my little sort of like looking through my phone before I go to bed, and I had an email pop up about washing machine parts. So I just clicked on the email and it was for a part that I didn't want. And underneath was some other suggested products. And one of them was this twin tub. And I thought, oh, that's interesting. So I clicked on it and I saw that it was a twin tub washing machine from the early 60s by the name of Rolls. Now, I do remember looking through some old adverts on YouTube and one of those adverts in the clip uh, was regarding the Rolls twin tub washing machine. And it was all very fancy and it kind of reminded me of Rolls Royce, but I don't think that they were related in any way. It was just Rolls. I have no idea. So anyway, so it's a Rolls twin tub. And unfortunately, they went bankrupt in the 60s and another company, someone did tell me who bought it out, but I can't remember who it was. They bought out Rolls and it got changed the name. Oh, oh I almost remember then for a second, like the company that bought it out. Oh, I don't know. I can't remember. Anyway, my friend told me today. So anyway, it's a Rolls twin tub washing machine. Now, you guys know I already have the Hot Point Supermatic Deluxe. And um, this came up and it was 50 quid or make an offer. So I made an offer and they accepted and we are going to go and pick it up. Now, it's not too far from where we live. It's in Boston. So it's about, I don't know, about a 35, 40 minute drive. It's not far at all. Um, that's maximum. And tonight, funnily enough, we are off to visit friends for dinner and they live near Boston as well. So it's not too far. So it was a bit of a coincidence. Very, very good. So we are off on our way to go and pick up this twin tub washing machine. Now, normally when I do the road trips, it's darker, but it is now five o'clock. It's almost dark, so I've had to use my light here just for a little bit of sort of like lighting so you can see my face properly rather than dim. So anyway, I'm just waffling now. So anyway, I had a look online, I had a look on YouTube, and I couldn't really see a demonstration video of this Rolls Twin Tub on YouTube. Some similar, but not this actual particular one. I did come across on Google some pictures of one identical to this. This is the Rolls Repeat, and I saw them on, there's a machine that I saw in, um, in a museum 
uh, in the UK. I can't remember which, my mind's gone. Anyway, so I saw it in a museum. Um, it's been kind of restored, but it's still got its old scratches and stuff. And this looks very similar to that. I promise it's not the one from the museum, but this is another one. So we're off to pick it up from the guy. And in the background, I did happen to notice uh, the washing machine. So when I see him, I'll ask him if I could possibly do some filming or take some photographs of some of the machines that he's got in uh, there. And uh, we're gonna go pick it up. So it's untested, so I don't know what the condition of it is. It looked like it was in very good condition on the outside, but I don't know if it's operational or if it needs parts for it, or I have absolutely no idea. So we will find out more when we go and pick it up. So without further ado, let's go pick up the Rolls Royce of Twin Tubs, the Rolls. Okay, so we've been, we've picked it up. As you can see, the rolls is there in the background. I will re-secure it. We are our friends now. We're gonna be here for dinner. Um, so yes, we picked it up. What an amazing place. Um, there were lots of different machines there. There was a English electric. Uh, that was a tumble dryer. There was another um, Supermatic Deluxe just like mine that was there as well um, But it had the lid on it the wooden lid on it, which was fantastic and lots of other machines and everything It was amazing. It was fantastic So thank you very much for showing us around and showing us all the different machines So the next step now is to get home, which is going to be continuing the video tomorrow uh, We'll get it in the garage and we'll finish it off then so see you in a minute Okay, so it's the next day and we are now in the garage with the rolls. It's been brought in. And the front panel has got damage on it. The rolls logo looks like the um, silver, shiny silver has come off it, but that can be re... Uh, chrome, that's not a problem. On the top, it's a very basic type of machine. So we look on the inside, on this side, we've literally just got a tub, a agitator spinner thing for the water. That is where the water goes through and comes out through here during the um, wash. So it circulates the water that way and also that helps to agitate all the clothing. There's nothing, there's nothing that moves on it apart from that. There's a pump attached to underneath this to recirculate the water back into it whilst the um, agitator is on. On this side is the spinner. Very basic spinner on this one. Um, there's no safety catches or clips on it at all, it literally just spins open. This control here controls the washing and it literally just turns the agitator inside and the water comes through there to circulate it. And this is just literally just a length of time. Here we have, it's coming off. Can't read what that says, that's cotton. And then that's heavy soil. I think the dial, yeah, goes down as far as there for heavy soil. So it's a timer and then switches itself off. On this side here, we have spin and heat, so that's off. So that will turn the heat up the water, so there is a heater in it. And then this, when you want to spin, spins the water. And I think when you spin it, it returns the water back into the drum. Um, now emptying it, I'm not really sure, it's maybe something like you'd have to put it on spin and and this i'm not really sure but i'll get the information on that the lids on it i thought that this was there was a knob or something missing it isn't it's literally put your finger through the hole like that same with the spinner it's in very good condition it does need cleaning up this rubber seal comes off and if i look underneath there i can see some wear and tear but nothing major for an old machine like this these are just bolts 
that just bolts on so these can easily come off and these can be rubbed down and resprayed. There is a rubber seal on it. I think that they just need to be cleaned up. There's no major damage to that luckily and this as well, this rubber seal here is in good condition. Now if we go around to the back, This is the outlet hose, and this is completely perished. As you can see, it is definitely toast. Um, I think the hose goes up that way, like so, to keep it neat. There's the ratings plate. I've taken a picture of that so you can see that. Um, the hose underneath the bottom there, that's all come out as well. The wire on it doesn't look very safe. That looks like it would need to be... Um, uh, replaced definitely uh, let's take a look at the underneath of it so let's prop it up and let's go underneath okay so <clears throat> I've got it turned on its side what can we see here down the bottom we have the main motor with the belt looks a bit perished but the motor does turn this needs cleaning up the cobwebs on the inside there are bearings inside there, but they look like they've seen better days, so it would be a very good idea to replace the wheels on this. Again, these are just bolted in, not riveted, so these can be replaced very easily. They still sell wheels like these in being q in places. Rub down at the underneath, possibly with some, some of that uh, Rust-Oleum stuff on there to stop it from corroding any further. Uh, the inside does look like it needs a good cleaning. It's very dusty, but it's not too bad. This is the spinner side of it. Um, God, these belts have seen better days. There's not much left on them. Uh, there's the motor there. That's a bit dirty. That could do with the cleaning. Uh, this rubber seal here is perished i'm touching it and uh, bits of it is coming off so that rubber seal in there has definitely gone this is the seal that could, the pipe that comes into the hose as you can see on the other side it's perished so that will leak like a buggery if i put water into it electrics okay we have the electrics here very open very unsafe that we could definitely do something to make that a little bit safer and on the other side there so this is the motor, doesn't seem in too bad a condition like I said. What does it say there? There is, let's see if I can get the camera in so that you can read the motor. And there we go. I can't take a screenshot of it at the moment, but I will. But there we go, that's the Ramco motor. Um, yeah, this rubber seal here, well that's actually hard plastic, um, doesn't appear to be any breakages on that, I think it's this one that's the perished one, so I think I would leave that for now. This is the pipe that goes up to where the water gets recirculated back in, here is a pump here. So that's what this does, this agitates the um, agitator thingy and also turns the pump as well, this pump, to pump the water back into the machine. How the water, this, so that's the outlet hose, so the water for spinning comes out through this. So... I will assume that to empty this machine you would have to put the yes you'd have to put the hose on the outlet pipe in the main drum and then turn it on to wash and then it would empty it out very much like the um, hot point does okay that makes sense it's not in too bad a condition it looks like it could be uh, tidied up and cleaned up very well the outside of it the paintwork and the seat that is in really good condition there is some damage there with the paintwork coming off but that could be easily rubbed down 
and re-sprayed because the the rest of it looks in very good condition. It's got some dents and bolts. That is just so unsafe. Let's have a look at the inside. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, there we go. Look at that. It's still intact, but that will definitely, absolutely have to be replaced. There's no word about it. How the heck you get up inside there to replace those and that connection up to that, I have no idea. Right, okay. Okay, so let's get it back up. So there we go, I've set it back up onto its right side now. Uh, let's open up this. So when you want to empty it, I assume you put the hose onto there and then out and then turn it on to wash. Um, it's very similar to the hot point and then it'll pump the water out of it. So we have the plug here. Let's have a look at the plug. Looks like an old-ish plug possibly, I don't know, maybe not too old. Right, let's plug it in. So I, okay, there's no bang, that's good, that's always a good sign. Control panel on the front, so this is for wash. Okay, so it's working. Sounds okay. Uh, the LED's not working. The light is not working there. So we know the wash is working. Uh, I'm not going to put the heater on because <laughs> there's no water in it. But let's try it on the spin. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Wow, that's pretty cool. Right, okay, let's unplug it. I don't want to risk danger. There we go, so there it is. The rolls repeat. Fantastic. I'm sure we will get that looking in really good condition. We'll give it some demos. Uh, for now, I'm just going to place it in front of there. I'm going to jiggle stuff around and put it there. But, uh, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. It's going to be a lot of fun sorting this out. Getting it up and running, and in the summer, we will do some wash loads in it, I think, once we get it nice and clean. So thank you very much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye, y'all. Nice to see you.
Oh, we brought back your table napkins, Grandma. Oh, thanks. Put them in that drawer, Leslie. Certainly, Grandma. What, with these grey ones? Grey? Young man, I... Well, they do seem whiter. How do you do it? Fairy snow, Grandma. Fairy snow. Is it any good? I'll say it is. Yes, Grandma. Did I ask you, Leslie? No, Grandma. We girls don't need your help. Nevertheless, Grandma did try fairy snow in her rolls rapide. She couldn't help noticing its rich lather. This powerful lather penetrates every fibre of the wash. Forces grey out, forces white in. Next time we popped round... Your napkins are really white now, Grandma. Of course. I use fairy snow in my rolls. You should try it yourself. <coughs> Grandma, we but Grandma... Don't argue with me, Leslie. <sighs> try fairy snow. Rolls recommend fairy snow because fairy snow forces grey out... Forces...